okay guys so today i'll show you how to boot a rom onto your onto your android phone such as this nexus 5 from a pen drive so let's so what you're gonna need is uh any pen drive like i have the sandisk 32 gb1 uh as you can see uh any pen drive is fine just make sure that it has at least 2 gb of free storage in it at least 2 gb and you're also gonna need an OTG cable. This is basically an on-the-go cable to connect your pen drive to your phone. Um, out here, as you can see, there's a USB port and here there's a pen drive slot. So you can just connect the pen drive in that directly and you can connect this to your phone. Now you get these anywhere for like, um, like at any electronic store, you can just order from Amazon like I did. Like for me, it costed only 100 bucks. Uh, that's like less than $2, less than $2 US dollars. So it's really cheap. And uh, you're gonna need your Android phone. Um, now, like right now I have, a, uh, I have a Nexus 5, but you're gonna have to have a rooted Android phone, which has multi-ROM support. So currently multi-ROM only supports uh, like some devices like the Nexus 4, Nexus 5, 6, uh, 7, like a couple of Nexus devices, the OnePlus One. Um, I think the HTC One M7 and a couple of other Sony and Samsung devices, I think, and also the Moto G first edition. So uh, I'll have a link to the XDA thread down below and also the uh, Multi-ROM Manager app on the Play Store. So you can just download the app and install Multi-ROM, it's really simple. And I'll also have another video on showing you how to do that. So once you have Multi-ROM installed on your phone, all the stuff is installed, the uh, modified twerp recovery and everything is installed. Just boot into recovery on your phone. Um, head over to recovery mode. Just anyhow, just boot into recovery. Basically, mine was switched off. So, so there you have team win. And out here it says um, multi rom to up and everything. So once you're in. Multi-ROM, make sure you have enough battery, like right now I have 75% battery because while you're while this is happening, you can't charge your phone since the OTG will use the slot. So just connect now. You have now connect your pen drive to your OTG and connect the cable to your phone's charging port. So now the phone is basically connected to a pen drive like this. And make sure it's tight enough. Don't let it get loose. Um uh, and now uh, just head over to advanced as you can see here advanced and multi rom and list roms so now over here out here at the bottom you'll see location internal memory so you can do change and this second thing is the otg basically is the pen drive so just hit select and you can see these are the roms which i have installed on my pen drive so i can boot into any of these but right now i'll show you how to boot like how to install a ROM on your pen drive and boot into it. So I'll just hit home. And first what you have to do is you have to mount the pen drive. So out here, click mount. And here you'll see an option like all this system, data, cache, everything. And you'll see an option like USB OTG. Uh, click USB OTG. And yeah, make sure it says, like make sure it says disable MTP. That means it's enabled. So once USB OTG is mounted, um, you basically just download any ROM file, like any ROM zip. You have to know how to flash a ROM. That's the basic stuff. If you want, I'll have a link to that all as well. So just download the ROM file on anything. You can either store it on your phone's internal storage or on your pen drive. Like right now, I have, I've transferred the file to my pen drive, but it doesn't matter. So now what you have to do is hit advanced and multi ROM here below. And now click add ROM at the top out here, add ROM. And choose ROM type here. I'm installing an Android only. I'm installing Paranoid Android uh, 5.1. It just released. So just make sure it's selected as Android. You can also install Sailfish, but that's a little more complicated. So just download any Android ROM for starters. And where it says install to, uh, out here it says internal memory. By default, it's internal memory. Select dev block SD1, whatever. That's basically your pen drive. So now it'll install it to the pen drive and click next and click zip file. So now I'll just locate my zip file. Now it's on the pen drive just now. Like this is my in, my phone's internal storage. Um, so it, I've saved it on my pen drive. So I'll just do up a level and scroll down. Just locate it. Uh, here, USB OTG and it's stored in Hammerhead. This. So it says here PA Hammerhead 5.1 whatever signed zip. So just click that. 
and now you'll get these three options here like cache data and system now you can basically assign how much storage uh, this rom should take from your pen drive so here basically it's going to take a total of around two and a half gigs from my pen drive this is the total now i suggest you leave it uh, as it is by default but also note that once you flash the rom you can't change this so you have to like um make sure you choose this correctly now i just suggest you leave it as default if you want you can change it and change the value out here but just leave it as default so it's 436.1024.1024 and then just hit next and say install rom and make sure the pen drive is connected tightly and now it's going to basically install the rom to the pen drive so just swipe and install it and now it says here installing you can see the log and now mind you this is going to take a long time this won't take like any normal rom you flash probably takes about three to five minutes this will take a really long time like about five, 15 to 20 minutes so and this bottom progress bar is going to remain gray until it becomes full so you won't see any blue progression so you might think it's stuck and all but it's not trust me it's not so just let it be like this don't uh, touch it don't let the pen drive or anything get loose just let it install come back after 15 or 20 minutes okay so the rom has just installed uh, as you can see here it says successful and uh, reboot system if you want you can do reboot system but i'll just show you proof that it's installed uh, once again the otg the pen drive is still connected right here um so i'm just going to hit home if you want you can just directly do reboot system it doesn't matter i'll show you advanced multi-rom list roms uh, and then hit change again and switch it to um, the usb storage to the pen drive like i showed you and it's select and here you can see it says pa hammerhead um, and here's more data so wipe data cache and everything so you can just do i'll just rename it to pa5 you can rename it if you want i just like make my thing look clean um, so that's about it. So now you just have to reboot system again multi rom has to be installed This is the multi rom modified to up recovery and the multi rom zip has to be installed You can install everything through the uh, multi rom manager app. So I'll just do reboot system and Don't let your pen drive get loose whatever happens now make sure it's totally connected and It says auto boot. This is my normal thing now uh, here is my internal roms like these all the roms have been installed on the internal storage so here's science mod 12 uh paranoid android 4.6 flying os the m developer preview um miui 6 sailfish os and ubuntu touch but now if you hit external right here on the top if you hit external then it'll look for the roms that are installed on your pen drive so on the pen drive i have cm11 firefox os pa 5.1 which i just installed and i'll reboot into it to show you uh, sense 6 the port and stock 4.4.3 I just wanted it so now just double tap on uh, PA 5.1 and it'll say booting into PA 5.1 Google now this again might take a little while to boot because it's first boot plus it's booting from a pen drive don't let this pen drive get loose I'm saying it again don't let it get loose um, just let it happen let it Good thing it may take a while and there you get the thing and there you get the boot animation they didn't change the boot animation what this is the stock uh, lollipop boot animation and they haven't put their um, their custom eye boot animation which they had in 4.6 so I don't know so anyways let's I'll just let this boot and come back okay so now it's booted up successfully and it says Android is starting uh, installing app 66 of 69 <laughs> 69 and starting apps uh, upgrading let's just optimize and do its thing once again the pen drives connected don't let it get loose and it says finishing boot um, God, it takes so long. And yep, there you have PA 5.1. I don't know why the setup didn't come. I think it's actually because I forgot to flash G apps. And for some reason, it's in Hindi. I don't know why. Uh, I forgot to flash G apps. So if you guys want to do that, then you just have to do multi ROM, list ROMs. And like I showed you, I just choose the ROM. 
um, and once you choose the ROM, there'll be several options. Like uh, next to where I clicked rename, uh, you just have to uh, click flash zip and choose the G app zip, and you can flash that over it. There are many options in that. So, anyways, I'll just show you proof that uh, whatever. Show you proof that this is PA 5.1. One second, I'm going to have to change the language first. Switch the language to English. And yep. And here yeah, in about phone, I guess, yep. It says Paranoid Android version. I'm not sure if you can see that because it's all white. But anyways, it says here Paranoid Android version 5.1. Here at the bottom. And also Android version 5.1.1. Um, it's lollipop and well, these guy guys suck at this. And I'll show you one more thing. That's the storage because, um, like I said, I gave it only two and a half gigs in total, some 434 MB of cache and 1024 MB of data and and uh, store uh, system. So I'll just go head over into storage here. Storage. And here you can see it says total is only one gig, almost a gig, and available is 832 MB. Now, obviously, my phone doesn't have uh, only one GB of storage, nor does the pen drive, but I assigned it that much storage, and hence it's giving that. And here it says unmount storage shoulder. So, yeah, this is how you basically have to boot a ROM from a pen drive. And like I said, this, is, this isn't very practical because obviously, sometimes maybe you can. Uh, just like losing your pen drive like I'm not gonna go around using this as my primary ROM with a pen drive attached to my phone but either ways don't let this pen drive get loose or this is gonna happen I'm just gonna show you what's gonna happen if you uh, loosen your pen drive and everything's gonna crash down it's gonna get all messy so here goes now this will probably just they got an error saying USB storage unmounted and slowly everything will just come crashing down like all the apps should crash and the, oh, it's getting a bit messed up. It's not quitting. Okay. Well, my launcher is now gone and, um, okay, I can still access settings somehow, but my launcher is messed up. Um, recent apps aren't opening. All this, everything's gonna soon crash and just completely shut down. Just give it a few minutes and okay, I don't know, no, normally it just gets messed up really fast. Oh wait, there, I can't even access settings anymore. Oh, settings is crashing. And let's go reduce the brightness. Now you can see everything is coming crashing down. Let's just try and, um, okay, that's the, I like that animation. It's better than the normal one. Um, let's just try. And that I locked the screen, it's not coming back on. And yep, the whole system's gone crashing down. So now it's just probably gonna reboot after a while. So basically that's what happens if you remove the pen drive, like I said. During installation, don't remove the pen drive whatsoever. And after you boot into the ROM, supposing you loosen the pen drive or remove it, it's just gonna fully like crash down. So anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching guys. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more.